Welcome to American Black Journal. I'm Stephen Henderson. For the first time in more than 30 years, the oldest and largest professional organization that represents African American doctors is going to hold its annual convention in Detroit. The National Medical Association will gather at Cobo Center from August 1st through the 5th for a conference and scientific assembly that promises to make history. A special summit on the health of minorities will feature the current Surgeon General of the United States along with five past Surgeons General. Plus, there will be scientific workshops focusing on the impact of various, various diseases on African Americans. Here to tell us more is the Speaker of the House for the National Medical Association, Dr. Lonnie Joe. You may also recognize Dr. Joe as the host of Primary Care, a program that's seen here on Detroit Public Television. Welcome to American Black Journal. Thank you, Stephen. Thanks so, 7,000 African American medical professionals all coming to dress. Pretty exciting. We're, we're hoping <laughs> to hit that number. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a big deal. A big deal. So, deal. tell me about the the, the symposium that's going to take place about minority health. Uh, what's what 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 are people likely to learn from this? Absolutely. As you stated in your introduction, the National Medical Association was founded in 1895. Now, that was a time when black doctors could not join the American <laughs> Medical say, Association, right? so yeah. they developed their own. And uh, all these years later, we're still striving and, and going forth, representing the patients that we take care of, which in essence is representing all patients, and in particular, the, the healthcare professionals that service them. Yeah. And during these years, we have been champions of lots of things in healthcare. Uh, we spoke for and lobbied for, back in the early 60s, for Medicare. By the way, this is the 50th year anniversary of Medicare. This is the 50th Medicare. anniversary right. of Medicare, right. We'll be celebrating that during this convention at Cobo Hall also. But everybody else in this country said no to Medicare. And it was the, Amer right. the, the American Medical Association who had the strongest lobby. Yeah. Uh, but at the time, Lyndon Johnson being president uh, carried this forward. And it was the National Medical Association that actually stood up for what is probably or was the greatest uh, piece of legislation in this country that benefits uh, uh, patients yeah. uh, until uh, the Affordable Care Act recently. Sure. So sure. we've been fighting this battle for a long time and continue to uh, address the issues that uh, affect uh, minorities in particular. Yeah. Uh, when you talk about health care and, and African Americans, uh, I, I always feel like there's two sort of uh, uh, columns, uh, pillars that, that you're dealing with. One is access, the other is health itself. Uh, and, and in both cases, that's very different than it is for the majority population. Absolutely. When we uh, have studies that have actually shown that uh, African Americans can start at the same place and end up at a different place simply That's because right. of the access issue and the, the social issues around health care, it means that we're doing something wrong in this tremendous business, this explosive business called health care. And that's part of what the NMA, the National Medical Association, addressed uh, with some of its efforts in terms of uh, making sure that people know what time it is yeah. in, in this health care arena. Right, right. Uh, when you talk about health, uh, obviously, uh, the diseases that, that contribute to uh, shorter lifespans for African Americans continue to sort of confound us in terms of how to deal with them. The access is one thing, but then it's, it's a question of how do you combat those things still? Absolutely. Access coupled with actual treatment, the availability of, of, of uh, health providers to see patients and actually make decisions that give us different outcomes is the formula that works. And that's why an organization like the National Medical Association is so important because when we do things uh, that help patients, it really lifts all boats. It, it may sound like it's an African-American focus, but it's hard to talk about the treatment of diabetes, which is the number one growing disease that we have in this country, uh -huh. and how we affect change in the African-American community, and it doesn't translate to the rest of the community uh, in this you've country. Got it's, a, it's a no that brainer. problem with kids Absolutely. everywhere now, Yes, right? and the obesity issue. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, the kids are fatter than they've ever been. Uh, they're less active than they've ever been. That equals uh, diabetes at an early age, uh, which could, is a totally avoidable disease, or preventable disease if we approach it properly. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little more about the conference. It's four or five days in, in, in August. What goes on at a, a conference of doctors? Well, first of all, there will be over 700 lectures given during the uh, five-day period for the conference, the lectures and presentations. And this is done on purpose because we try to address as much as we can during this conference. We have 24 different sections in the National Medical Association and everything from aerospace to women's medicine will be addressed with emphasis on what we're dealing with most recently, uh, and that is the Affordable Care Act. This yeah. year we've decided to highlight this in a manner uh, of inviting the current Surgeon General, 
Dr. Murthy, he will be here as well as the last five Surgeon Generals. We did this as a sort of a review of this historic legislation because uh, first of all, it's the first time we've really been ha able to have a, a significant health care discussion at this level in this country. Right. And there's a lot of confusion around it. And our job as, as providers to some degree is to help resolve some of that confusion. So we're going to be addressing how this act has affected patients, hospitals, insurance companies, providers. We're going to bring out a lot of the details. It, it needs a lot of work on it. Yeah. And uh, I think we're up to the challenge. Yeah, so in your estimation, I mean, uh, one of the things I think is true uh, that we don't talk a lot about is the profoundly different effect of the Affordable Care Act on African American community than than others in terms of act just in terms of access. I mean, you you are insuring far more African Americans through that than we were uh, before. But when you say when you say it needs it needs work, what is it that you're what is it that you're thinking about? Well, well, I think what we're dealing with right now. I know what we're dealing with right now in this form of legislation is what they could get through the House and the Senate uh, at the initial uh, right. point, of, is, point um, of inflection uh, of this of this administration. Right. It's a product yeah. of compromise. Absolutely. The way that this started out originally and what we have now is something totally different. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like most sausage making. <laughs> like maybe, most legislation. Okay? Right. right. And, and what our job is is to, at this point now, continue to move in the direction it has created and to make it better every step of the way. It's like a big ocean liner. It's not going to yeah. turn on a dime. It's right. going to take a nice long time to swing and get to where we want it to be. But if you look at how it has been rolled out and the response to it and the timing that has been set forth for it to reach its goals, yeah. we still need a little more time to make this right. In particularly, as the American population gets older sure. and continues to draw on the healthcare dollar, we are probably late in getting started. The initial approach to this was under the Clinton administration right. with uh, the Hillary Care, sure. uh, and that was 20 years yeah. ago. Right. Uh, it took a long time to fight absolutely. to get anything passed. Absolutely. So, so as as it is, the 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 powers that be uh, decided that this was the best that they could do, and it's our job now to make it even better. Yeah. Do you, Do you feel like enough African Americans even know about the things that are now available uh, under the uh, ACA that that weren't available before, or you know, I, I always like to talk about the things that now you can get done for free in terms of screenings, uh, tests and things uh, that, that you used to have to pay for. I mean, there, there, there's, it really is set up to broaden access in a, in a dramatic way. It's certainly, and no, the answer is no. Uh, we just have not told We're not that doing story a good properly yet, uh, especially with all of the fantastic medium that we have now, uh, you know, uh, 30 years ago, this, a lot of this didn't <laughs> exist. You know, our forefathers ran a civil rights movement in this country. Right. When most people didn't have phones at home. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Certainly didn't have email and right. cell phones and Twitter and Ditter and all that stuff. And sometimes we still fail to get the message out. So that's part of the job. Speaking of getting the message out, at this convention, we will be <clears throat> providing free prostate screening to males that will show up free of charge. There you go, right? A great example. Saturday through Tuesday. Uh, 10 to 4 at Cobo Center. Any willing uh, person uh, willing to show up to have not only the examination done, but the blood work done that right. will totally be provided free of charge and uh, we'll be providing the results to them also. Every year that we've conducted these types of screening, we find prostate cancer, a disease that is, if detected early, is totally preventable. Totally uh, curable, right? right. Curable. That's right. right. Uh, are there other parts of the conference that the public can can show up and take part in? Yes, the first session of the uh, uh, Surgeon General Summit on Saturday morning from 8 to 12 is also open to the public. Our, our auxiliary, who has been working very hard and is our partner in this convention, uh, they conduct their, their uh, activities at the same time. They're going to be looking at uh, free sessions on breast cancer and breast health for women. As you know, a disparity again yeah. in this 2015 still existing is that the incidence of breast cancer in black women is lower than non-black. Right, but it's more fatal but more to fatal. black women. Right, than, so than how can you have the incidence lower and, and the, the outcomes be worse? There's only one caveat to that is that Females, uh, African American females on the younger end of the age scale, can have a form of breast cancer called triple negative. 
And, and this is something that uh, we're finding more and more, but here again, early detection is the key. And what is that triple negative? Triple negative is a, is a very aggressive type of breast cancer that uh, basically uh, looking at the receptors on the cancer cell and what they respond to uh, uh, are not there. And it's, on, it's found in a higher incidence in African And so it's more, it's more lethal. It's more fatal, okay? Yeah. And, but here again, uh, uh, early detection is still the key to having better outcomes, even if a woman has triple negative breast cancer. So uh, we, we're doing some things that, uh, that we hope will not just educate the public, but educate them to a point that it changes their it gets habits. Their, it their changes actions. behavior. That's, Absolutely. that's still the, the, the challenge. Changing behavior and, of course, prevention, which uh, is the best way to, to survive any disease, Absolutely. not to get it. Right. Stop on red, go on green. Right, right. right. Okay, August 1st through 5th. August 1st Cobo through 5th, Center. Cobo Center. All right. Great. Thank you very much for Excellent. being here. Thank you for having me. Good, Good luck on your show. Right. Thank which, you. Of course, we watch all the time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just